Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Uh, today's gonna be a heavy, mm, heavy video. Right now I have Ark in the background. Uh, I'm on the island and apparently it gives me a little bit more frames than... than Wagner Rock for whatever reason. So I'm testing this to... The game is paused, by the way, so... Yeah, let's just get into this. Um, so today was a, st a shit storm of toxic activity, like I have never seen before. So the demon added me to a group chat to flame others into the mix. One guy is called Illuminati Curse. I don't really... I think he's the same demon as this other person who has two accounts because I did see the profile picture being the same on two accounts. So I'm like, okay, maybe this guy has a third hidden account and is flaming himself? I don't really know. I thought he was... Uh with me being, hey, this toxic person is no good, but then later he says some weird stuff. I did record the conversation that I was added to this group chat started on the last Thursday. I was added, uh, yesterday was, would be the 10th, today is 11 the 11th, which is again 11, 11, 11, and it was a, a shit storm that I witnessed, and I made seven, eight slides of what the lesson I learned. I, for whatever reason, still stayed in the group chat to see what this demon had to say because I was curious. Turns out it was a one-off, like, didn't really make much sense. Still thinks I'm with the Illuminati and Wicca is evil. Uh, be something about Christian... He didn't put Christian, Wicca, and witchcraft like that. And I'm like, oh, so you're one of those types. Okay. And then I just witnessed a flake tra who tried to come back. At the very end of it, I forgot to uh, block him because I was already ignoring him and then he just vanished from since November and before that it was some months ago. Total flake and he tried to come back very thirsty for my attention. So I'm like, okay, you need to go bye bye because I'm not dealing with more toxic people demanding my intention like that. So, yeah, it's been a, a crazy day uh, today. And, well, since that uh, intro is completely done, I can actually read my eight slides that I created. And then I created two more which followed. Um, so this is the lesson. After dealing with demons and crazy toxic people, it is wise to clean your aura. This demon hates anything to do with enlightened 25D, which is, and yes, the Illuminati. This crazy asshole thought they could tell they could tell me down by throwing me into the mix of the slanderous accusations towards the other people they were hating on. Boy, you sir are one disturbed son of a bitch. You have issues, and it is clear to me that you do not approve of the light beings and what they stand for. So you go out of your way 
to tell us down because you're scaled of our light and you made it clear to me that is why you tried to destroy my own light by calling me a child for posting some witty post about how I speak truth and light and don't consider myself a mortal man. It was you who thought I was talking about clones and had to ask me what did I meant, but instead of hearing me out, you went ahead and tore me asunder in your group chat, no less. All because you do not like what I post and think I am the idiot when in fact you're the mortal who has serious issues. And this was not an original post that I made, it was a share post. I have the username of the original post uh, creator at the bottom of my photo of that photo and for whatever reason he thinks I completely made it and said what do I mean by mortal by the word mortal and then he added do you speak of clones I'm like how do you get clone out of the word mortal but yes he's a clone because there are actual clones and I said something along the lines of well, being a mortal, you are on 3D, stuck in the matrix, who cannot think for themselves and will tell others down as they see fit, being the toxic garbage that they are. And yes, mortals can be clones when they copy other people who they can't think for themselves, so they copy other people's aka peel presser, gossip, rumors, lies, and of course, secrets. But instead of hearing that conversation, I then saw the message he uh, posted to me calling me out and saying all this garbage and I'm like, how is Wicca evil? Because Wicca to me is the worship of nature. And he kept saying something about the Greek god wannabes and other nonsense um, doesn't really make any sort of sense other than to claim that he came from 5D above and above to this toxic world and to enslave others. I have honestly no idea because it's just a, a lunatic he was talking. And I'm like, what? You're making no sense and you try to act like this all mighty person who stands for light and yet you're tailing others down. And yeah, he tore down a, B a Bieber post, uh, just a Bieber post, and then he tore some other uh, post about people holding up cardboard with a username on it and tore them down, tore some other twin flame post and tore... It was just a giant mess of hate, anger, and very toxic junk. And I'm like, ooh, you stink, man. I mean, the thing that I walked into was insane. I have never seen so much hate before in my life once I woke up to be the light person that I am a being of light. This person stands for demons, darkness, Satan, and anything evil. And yes, Satan is evil. Who tricks people away from the light. So that was post one, and it continues. The lesson is this. The universe threw me an asshole who tried to destroy my light, the demon failed so dramatically it's almost funny. How you failed to tell me apart, how you're scaled of the light and will attack anyone 
who is Saren Enlightenment or Inspiration or other 3D nonsense from what I could tell. If this occurred years ago, I would have been destroyed. Instead, I uplifted myself and walked away from this toxic asshole. Boy, my aura was really dirty after that sit storm. You can try, universe, to send me more demons. You will only be wasting your time as I am stronger and brighter now. You can't tarnish me now or ever. Slide 3. The lesson is learned. There are demons who will make the opinions heard to try and defy the code of light. To try and destroy what you stand for. To try and harm you in the most trashy way as possible. You can try, but you will all fall. For I stand for light. I do not judge. I do not force my opinions onto others. I am here to illuminate, for to bring awareness, to bring inspira inspiration onto others, to uplift them, to never tell them down. I know demons will not listen to reason. Demons think they are in the right and the people of light are in the wrong. As this person made it very clear to me why I was added in the group chat of people they do not agree with. Never talk to a demon. They will not heal you. And the demons will only listen to their toxic asshole without a care in the world. This is narcissistic at its worst. Slide 4. Universe, you tried to attack my mission and you failed greatly. Can you not see? I am better than these alone lives who would do anything to harm others, to lie, to trick, to throw you under the bus and into a sit storm of making the darkness known by how you hate the light and everything and anything to do with it. Accusing the Illuminati and witches to be the villains. When in fact the demon made it known how they won't stand for the light. How the light helps people. How the light inspires others. How the light brings you closer to 5D. How the light makes you save yourself to know you are the divine being to know you yourself is a god the demon made it clear that they hate anyone to say any of my claims here to make some false claim about some society or religion, how it is a bad thing to think of your own light in some powerful way of inspiration or reality as just a symbol. Slide 5. The demons have not gotten their heads out of their asses and they remain assholes, scaled of the light, scaled of the light's power. Demons will always be demons. They will never change, and I just witnessed this. You can try, but you will hit a brick wall. Sure, brick walls can be shattered, but 
In most cases, they are not ready to heal the light's colon. Demons will always attack the light. You cannot change that fact. Once a demon, always a demon. Once an asshole, always an asshole. Once a toxic piece of garbage, always a toxic person. Leave the toxic people alone. It it is not worth it to try to change them. They have to do it on their own terms. Toxic people will always try to bring you down. Cut them out of your life to rise higher. Slide seven. You can try to attack us like the scared little kid you are, but you won't get very far. Attack our mission, and karma is a real bit. You tried to burn the wrong person. Feel the wrath of the light. Feel the light that will burn right through you. Yes, that. You're scared, so you attack us. How pathetic! Your acts are in vain. Satan is calling you back to hell, where you belong. I bury you. I bury your darkness. I bury your toxic ass into the ground. I now proceed to dance on your grave. The light will conquer all and everything, for I know my power. I know I am divine. I create my own reality. My thoughts, my thought, and my word are powerful. Darkness cannot touch me. I shatter the darkness with my light. You have the right to feel me, for I have power over myself. You want that power, but you're scared, so you just lash out to onto others. Judge them, judging them, hating their light. Slide seven. I could go on, but it is pointless. For you're nothing more than a three D person who will never rise to the light. You attack the light. You force others to listen to your hate and your anger and your toxic. You need to fix yourself. But demons cannot fix themselves, for they stand with and only in the darkness. To anyone who speaks the truth, demons will hate us, for they feel us, for they cannot control us. Come at me again, and you will be buried over and over again. Like the scum you are, slide sub slide eight. And in comments, am I mad? Am I affected by this terrible, toxic person who tried to destroy my light? Not angry, annoyed. How a demon could try to tarnish my light with some stupid bullshit? Of the three D matrix, and think the demon could get away with it. No, not angry, frustrated that I had to waste my time with this utter clusterfuck. For a lesson such as this, an eight-page script, at how a demon failed to destroy the light in me. The universe can be as as sick and as twisted as the demons, but as I said earlier, 
I know the universe was testing me, and I won. Simple as that. So yes, I am annoyed, but I understand why this happened. Okay, that is the end of that one. Now I have to go grab the other from Instagram. For I did not see it faster. Slide 9. After the demon got under my skin of how he tried to banish my light, I then proceed to write pages upon pages of what the universe tried to do and what told, told me what I started to forget. I am stronger now and brighter. I have no time for the demon nonsense. Universe, just stop sending me this. Oh, just another trial after my last one I went through. Yes, Universe, I know I am brighter than what I give myself credit. I just found my light again. Now you put me through this bonkers. Like, why? Okay, I get you, universe, but really, stop trying to kick me. I will always rise and surpass what you bring me. This just proved it. Oh, I see what you did though. Again. Thank you, universe. Slide 10. Well, actually, this should have been the first one, but I wrote it last. This group chat is full of toxic shit. To that point, it doesn't even make any type of sense to me. I think the two people are the same person, the same demon. I don't know much about the Illuminati, but Wicca I do know to a degree. And, and for you to say witches are evil for the light, the healing, the nature worship, you demon are the one who is evil and toxic. I only speak to the Wicca that heal and support, not the evil black magic Wicca. I blocked everyone in that toxic hate group chat, yikes. Only because the person who started it and added me to it sailed the witch post that I sailed onto my wall and my facial photo. One, they commented only on the witch post that I showed and they did not write a comment to my face. And upon them showing other people posts, I thought they called me to be an Illuminati and a witch when they did call me a Illuminati person, but they did not call me to be a Wiccan. Uh, as I said, the group chat, I blocked everyone because they could show a new post that I would make into that shitstorm to call me out on it. So I blocked everyone involved and just sat back waiting to see what this demon had to say next and it just gets 
more stupid because I don't understand anything that they are saying. It feels so 3D, even though they are, hey, they are attacking the 3D enslavers being the Illuminati, and I'm like, the fuck? But the base word for Illuminati is illuminate. Wouldn't that mean to illuminate others, to bring them up, rather than to destroy them? Uh... Like I said, it, the conversation just gets weirder and weirder and more toxic as it goes on. And when I first went in there and saw, yeah, my heart was racing in anger, fearing that they were tearing me apart, and to my dismay, I wasn't destroyed. It, that accidentally surprised me. Um, um, like I said, it just gets weirder as the conversation went on. Person saying the Bible is trash and about a person who said something about it. I didn't read any of their comments. Uh, the, the demon who was writing this, I'm like, but then you go on to say that a witch, Wicca, is evil and will heal because I, something about some greater power put us on 3D Earth to enslave us. And I'm like, the fuck are you talking about? You're supposed to break out of 3D to help others not to judge and not to tell each other apart with these bullshit claims that I can't even fathom right now because it feels more 3D nonsense than it does 5D. Again, I don't know anything about the Illuminati other than as a secret society, but to say Wicca is evil that's when my nerves are struck because, one, I prefer Wicca to be like Druidism, meaning worship the planet, nature, healing, light, um, but you say something about Greek god wannabes? What does that have anything to do with it? Again, doesn't make any sense, I'm not going to try to understand it. I did record everything, so I'm not going to showcase that because there's a clusterfuck and really it's, it's no point in me showing it because I can't wrap my head around it and it's all nothing but a demon who is literally trying to attack me and others, be it 3D or 5D. So it's like, well, you're attacking everything. Why? Me? I can phrase about how I hate Christians and how I hate the Bible, but do you see me do that? No. Because I preach my own truth. Speaking of that, he's like, oh, well, something about energy being siphoned away from him and will attack anyone to get it back. I think that's what he was trying to say. Again, doesn't make any sense because I just got into the group chat I was just added like yesterday and I scrolled up and he said that comment before. I don't really understand it. Like, what? Some about Twin Flame, but he's not being Twin Flame because the other stuff he says is just pure demonic. Uh, so yeah, it... Completely bonkers. Doesn't make any sense. I'm not going to try to understand why this demon is doing what he does. Um, to say that he's doing it for the greater good and will attack anyone because it's about to siphon energy. Like, what? It doesn't make any sense. Then he added something about Einstein technology. Like, what does that have in 
that doesn't make any sense either. Like, why I added that? Uh, yeah, um, for, for me, I stand for light, not this utter garbage. And it's like the gods are testing me in the worst way possible because, well, the only thing I can say on that is 90, what, okay, 90 versus Earth. Earth, you have nothing but hatred. 90, peace and love. Stable. Earth, chaos. 90, um, hippie. Tree loving people. Earth, I'm gonna destroy all of nature and kill all the trees and all the animals. I am greedy. I am greedy. 90. I am not greedy. Um, I could go on, but, but really it's like, what, what's the point? Because this demon will never see the greater cause. He thinks he's a part of this great mission, but instead, what I see is... He is a demon who is literally trying to kill the light and made it very apparent. So yes, there are demons who are trying to kill us, uh, to kill the light. And this guy is an energy vampire. So yeah, I had to do a recording because it was just eating me up on the inside like I had to get this toxic darkness out of me by shining my light to say to show that this is what happened that this is the darkness meaning the flashlight you shine on it something in the darkness you illuminate it you see it for what it really is. And my light did just that. It's like, gods, you know I stand with Lucifer's light, being the light bearer that he is. I do not need this toxic clusterfuck of demonic and this bullshit, like, come on, I, I do not need it. I know I stand with the light of the gods. For they are on 90, I stand with them. I do not stand with the devil. It's like, universe, come on now. It's just, like, this shouldn't have not have happened but of course being on earth it will because demons hate the light and they want nothing to do with it i mean he tried to say oh i'm gonna attack the 3d but at the same time i am going to attack the light you're a lunatic you're flat out crazy what I just witnessed, yeah, it's a lunatic person claiming to be, oh, I'm gonna defend the, the light and be all justice -y and all, all this uh, white lighter and, and yet he's a dark lighter and um, you do realize I can see through your bullshit. Oh, I'm gonna attack you anyways. But I'm going to attack everything and anything that I see fit. You're not making any sense. <laughs> but that's what demons are. They do not make any sense at all. One person kept saying, go die, go fuck yourself. Um, I don't know who he was aiming at. Then he said it again, but he still remains in the group chat. Like, what? But it all started with a hotel 
conversation, some about reservation, and I don't understand how it went from that to I'm gonna attack anything and everything. Yeah, you're a 3D toxic person at the worst. Like, come on, I can see through the demons. Like, I do not need this universe. Yeah, he thinks he's doing the, the work of the angels. No, no, you're not. You're not doing the work of anything but the devil. That's what devils do. As for the angels, we do not help demons. We destroy the toxic bridges. We destroy the energy fields in us. We rise above darkness. We heal others when it is okay to do that. Meaning, um, if you come to me for advice on something, I will try to help you, but if you demand my attention and then copycat me, you're just a toxic demon who is trying to steal my energy. So as healers, we have to have boundaries. So there was a lesson in everything. Have boundaries. And that's the new lesson here. 40 minute video. Huh. Had to be done. Had to be done. Until we meet again.